Rafael Rivera, Vice President of Environmental Advocates. Um, today we're seeing the Green Temple from UTEP. Um, we, the Environmental Advocates, and the ASCE, the engineers, designed this temple, the Buddhist Buddhist design temple out of plastic bottles, to show the students of how much bottles actually add up. The original was a, a picture that they did like in India that Marina found. It was made out of glass bottles. It was an actual functioning house and it had toilets and everything. But we we're kind of last minute and we wanted to make a bigger impact. So we actually got bottles from NMSU and UTEP and we, it took us about two weeks to collect about 30,000 bottles, which is a, a lot of bottles. Um, we sorted them out, we cleaned them, we organized them to see which was heavy, which was not. And in about a 400 hours, we came up with this. We had a variation of volunteers. Some days would be three, some days would be 15. It just depends. And we finished this at like one o'clock in the morning. But the reason we use plastic bottles, they're readily available, and a lot of people don't notice since they'll just see a bottle and they just want to consume what's inside of it, how much it actually like affects the world. Um, like they see one bottle, they drink the water, they leave it in the trash. That was a 20 minute water bottle, and it's gonna be in the landfill forever or for a very long period of time. So when you actually come back and you put them all together, it kind of makes people connect the dots that it's not just a one-time use and they forget about it. It's This is what we do in two weeks. This is just UTEP and NMSU. What happens in Texas? What happens in America? What happens around the world? So when you make them a bit more aware, you make them a bit more conscious, conscious then they start you know, realizing that they ha this can always go on forever. Something has to be done.